Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for exercise two, making a shape from lines. Um, you'll notice that I've opened a new document in um, Adobe Illustrator, and I wanna show you some tricks that will make sure that everything you put on your page will print. We're gonna start off by selecting the view button and making sure that we've selected rulers. Now I'm going to hide the rulers and I'm going to go back to the rulers and show the rulers. Okay. I now want to create guidelines and what these do is they set sort of a boundary for where you can place um, different elements in your design. So I am going to work by grabbing in the ruler. I'm going to move just drag the line over and over here it'll show me where things are and you'll notice that it is at 0 0.223 inches i am going to move that to 0 0.25 and it shifts a tiny little bit on the other side of the page okay our page is eight and a half inches wide and I want uh, 20 uh, a quarter inch margins all the way around. So I'm going to change this number to 8.25. To do the horizontal guidelines, I pick the ruler at the top and just drag this down a bit. And where I drag it doesn't matter. Now, you'll notice the first time that we did the guidelines, I was working on the x-axis. Today, or now, doing the horizontal guidelines, I want to work on the y-axis. So 0 0.25, there we go, and it moves itself. I'm going to go back to the ruler, drag this down. Now there's ticks you can see on the rulers, and um, you'll figure out how close you are. So our page is 11 inches tall. I want a quarter inch guideline. So I am going to type in 10.75, except I need a zero there. There we go. And enter and fine. Now I've set up my guidelines and I know not to go outside of this area bounded by the blue as I create. Okay, let's begin by creating the curved line. You can use, I would suggest that we use the line segment tool. Okay, so there we go. Now, you'll notice that there's nothing there because I haven't indicated a color and I haven't indicated a stroke weight. So I'm going to make this a little bit thicker so we can see it. Okay. You'll notice here that it's slightly offset at almost one degree. I can change that to zero. So now my line is absolutely straight. I'm going to create another line just below the one I've created and it will now have the exact same qualities as the first line. I am going to go to my curvature tool. I'm going to pick the end of this line and I'm going to bring it up here and what I need to do is make sure on my path I add an anchor and I must be absolutely sure that these um, two paths meet because if they don't, I won't be able to fill my line and I'm gonna press escape. Now I'm gonna select fill and I'm gonna pick the color blue and I know this has worked correctly because I have created a shape and it has filled, okay, um, so my paths meet. If I want to 
get rid of the outline. Okay, I can do this and make sure I'm all the way over. Go zero. Now it behaves, it behaves like a, oops. So I've mostly removed the shape. Okay. Um, one of the important tools here is the zoom tool. And I, I can't show you this on the keyboard, but I'm holding down the alt key and using my mouse wheel. Okay. So that's my line side. No, that's not what I want. What way? Okay. We use this um, for the simple reason that sometimes we need absolutely custom sized, custom colored shapes. And while our shape preset to the rectangle, there we go, the polygon tool. Okay, and you'll notice that I've gone outside of my boundaries, so I am not sure that the very end of this shape is going to print, so I will put it over here. Okay, you can also turn your shape if you need to, to line it up. Um, again, I can change fill colors. If I wish, I can add a stroke outlining it okay that's not very visible so i'll make that a bit thicker there you go okay so oops i can also right click on my shape and just view this in an outline but mostly i want to view it in a preview Okay. What I would like you to do after watching this tutorial is to look at the Word document 002, making a shape from a line, and then applying your learning. Um, please make sure that you follow the instructions in the Apply Your Learning section, because again, I have shown you how to use the tools, but I have not completed the exercise for you.